Hey guys, welcome back to Smoke and Meats. My name is Steve Petrato and welcome to my backyard. Today, as you guessed it, we are reviewing the Masterbuilt Gravity Series rotisserie kit for my Masterbuilt Gravity Series 800. Let's get right to it. This is perfect for the 560, the 800, and even the 1050. You only have to buy one box. It comes with all three sizes of the spits to fit across your grill and all the mounting hardware. One thing you do need to realize is it does require a separate power source. So if you already have your grill plugged into an outlet and something else there, you do need two plugs to operate both your Masterbuilt power system if you're not running off a battery like me, and you'll need another plug to run off your, for your rotisserie kit. Now, like I said, everything's in the box, even all the EU or US plugs and all the spit rods and all the claws. Um, and I will show you guys quickly, I won't do the exact install, but I'll show you kind of what steps I took to install it. It's super easy to do, so let's get right into it. So as we are getting the Masterbuilt heated up for the cook today, we are gonna be doing a rotisserie chicken for the first cook. Um, I have run this with the smoke on just to see if it works. So you will see that it has looks like it's used, but I haven't cooked anything major on it yet. So to plug this in, this actually just hooks right here. It's a hook, you'll notice there's a slot on your grill. These two feet just kind of rest against it. And then your rotisserie shaft goes through here. You'll notice also inside your master built, if you've not already done this, you will have a little uh, common or a flathead screwdriver plate that you'll need to remove. And then you'll screw in this kit here. It's a collet with a piece behind it. And if I get you guys inside the grill, you can see that piece behind it is actually the drive unit itself. And if I turn on the unit, you'll begin to see that spin right there. Now, next thing you'll need to know is that it does have a bracket system over here on the left for you i think 560 and 800 users like me the spit goes here and for you 1050 guys i think the spit goes here if you run the spit to this one the spit will actually be in here kind of crooked it'll still operate but i noticed that is something to keep in mind now i've done the research and there are a few things to worry about when you're installing this master belt rotisserie kit so one of the biggest complaints that I see on this rotisserie kit that people have online is that it begins to stall during a cook. And primarily that's because it doesn't do it when you start the cook and then midway through you check your, your cook and you notice your chicken keeps doing a rotation stall. I a little bit of researching on YouTube and found two videos and I'll put those links in the description and they both recommend to trim a little bit of the front of that drive unit I showed you just down with a grind wheel. Now you may not have a grinder and this may not be a problem for you, but just keep it in mind. If you have that stalling issue, um, then you do need to check out those videos and do that mod. I've gone ahead and done the mod already just because I like playing with stuff, so I will not probably have that issue, but I could see how as metal expands, uh, the unit that's turning will grind up against the plate that's holding it in place, and therefore it will cause it to draw too much current on the motor and the motor will stop and try to go the other way. So I've done that mod. We shouldn't have that issue in my video, but keep that in mind if you do have that problem. So let's get into the cook. Today I am running two hickory splits in the ash bin down here and they have yet to fire off yet so I'm gonna let them go just a little longer and today we are running Kamado Joe's uh, lump charcoal all the way up in the chimney here as you guys can see that stuff is nice and big I do like the Kamado Joe or any kind of large uh, Devil, Jealous Devil XL does a great job as well. Um, I'm doing some more reviewing on this Inkbird unit here. Really starting to like it a lot. I love how it magnets there, and we'll show that later. I'll put the link in the description. But that uh, temperature gauge is really super nice. All right, guys, let's get to the chicken out and get it on the spit. All right, for today's cook, I have a fresh Amish chicken that I got from the local supermarket. These are a little more expensive than your standard like Tyson chicken, but I do notice they are much nicer looking birds. I've gone ahead and done three things to this exact bird. I went ahead and first topped it up with some Goldie's brisket rub. This stuff is pretty awesome, even not on brisket. It's got a heavy pepper content, a lot of garlic, that kind of thing. I like it a lot. The second thing I did, and I picked this up again, this is an Amish thing, but crispy chicken coating. This is just designed to crisp up the skin. And then the last thing is just add for color a little bit of Killer Hogs barbecue rub. I love that stuff a lot. So guys, to easily get this on the grill, move our rubs off to the side, we'll go ahead and pop it open. We'll take the side without the slice on it, and we'll go ahead and slide it in the grill into that slot that, I've that we installed, and you slide it into the rear spit hole 
back there. Now I do notice on the Masterbuilt Gravity Series 800, these bottom grates are really close to your food, especially if you're doing a full chicken. In fact, mine is almost touching. So for this cook, I'm gonna go ahead and remove those grates. Well, it's been 30 minutes at 275 and we've got the rotisserie chicken in here. We're gonna let this thing go a lot longer, obviously, till we get to about 165 in the breast, but we're gonna bump up now to 325 degrees. Let's check out how it's doing. All right, look how pretty this guy is with that fat starting to render, that skin is grabbing that rub and boy, oh boy, is this gonna be good. I did notice my wings have pulled out of where I had them, but no big deal. They're not touching anything. I'm gonna let them go. And I do notice that the uh, chicken tends to kind of go to the other direction in here and we're starting to get some tearing. So we need to be mindful of that so we don't ruin our chicken. Um, but the claws down here are grabbing it nice as well. Um, but I did look, it does look like it is doing that action right there, which is causing some extra trauma to the chicken. So I'm going to keep an eye on that, but we're going to set this out 325 now th through the remainder of the cook. And hopefully we'll get 165 in the breast and pull this thing off to eat. All right, another half hour into the cook and my goodness, that is looking absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and just turn down or let this rotate a little bit the other way here. And we're going to check temperature in the breast here with my Thermo Pro. Oh, we're getting close guys. So 325 is it, 150 degrees. I can already, you can even hear. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fantastic. Skin is crisping up nicely. We're gonna let this continue. Whew, be done here in just a few minutes. All right guys, it's been about an hour and 15 minutes. Just turned off the rotisserie and let's check the breast here. Skin looking pretty good, not as crispy as I love. Definitely warm enough. We're at 170 in the breast. I had to step away for uh, something else. So I kind of got behind on my cook here, but overall, look at this guy. We are looking really overall super nice. Pretty happy with that um, beautiful color of the skin and the juices are just a pouring out. So we're gonna go ahead and let this come off the grill. We're going to let it rest for 10 or so minutes and we are going to slice in. Time to eat guys, got our chicken all rested up. You can see the juices have begun to come out in, in a pretty spectacular manner. Um, and you know, one thing I wanted to point out is with this rotisserie system, you're going to get a really even cook. It's gonna redistribute those juices constantly. You saw at the end there as I stopped it and then restarted it, they started to leak out again. That's because they're just constantly spinning around and re-moisturizing this chicken meat. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to the skin, I did get a pretty good, you can kind of hear uh, a good crisp, however, not super crispy, but I will say um, if you turn up the temperature a little bit more, say to 350, 375 at towards the end to really get it nice and crispy, it does help a lot. So first things first, I always like to check um, how the legs pull from a chicken. And this one, I think are gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be great. So you can see here, that just <laughs> yanked right off and uh, <laughs> It's dripping right now. Um, really impressive. So I'll pull that aside here. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a, a slice of this for myself. Yeah, that's fantastic. The seasoning really uh, got through the chicken meat. The smoke is perfect. Wow, that's really good. So next thing is to check the skin. And like I said, at the top here on the breast, um, we got nice crisp, you can kind of hear that. Try that. Yeah, not leathery, a little chewy, a little less crispy as I like, but overall the flavor is really good. That, uh, that brisket rub is just fantastic. A little extra flavor there with um, the killer hogs is also really good. So let's go ahead and just chop into the breast. Doing this kind of messy today, just eating by myself. So I'll go ahead and just hack this breast off here. And I like to go a slice down the front and a slice down the side and it will easily pull a big chunk. Oh man, that's just dripping, dripping. And there you guys go. Check that bad boy out. It looks really good. Go ahead and set that down. Go ahead and chop a nice chunk off here for me. And so far, pretty impressed. Now, I will say 
the uh, rotisserie does a great job. Oh my God, guys, the flavor on that is, is fantastic. Typical master built, but the juiciness, I mean, that's some of the juiciest chicken I've made on a master built. I've done spatchcock, I've done beer can style. This is the, is the best of the three. So definitely good. I'm actually not a huge white meat fan typically. It's what the girlfriend usually eats. But that right there is like more liquid than meat. <laughs> and I didn't brine this. I didn't inject this, which is just straight out of the packaging, dried it up a little bit. And uh, yeah, really, really good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So guys, if you're interested in the Masterbuilt rotisserie system or any of the things I talked about here today, I'll put as many links as I can in the description box. The uh, link to the, to, the, to the rotisserie, everything goes to Amazon pretty much. Uh, it all helps me do this channel and buy meat and do recipes and stuff for you guys. So please think about supporting the channel at no extra cost to you. Those links are in the description. Guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Smoking Meats. I hope you liked it. Another success on my Master Built Gravity Series 800. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Dude, yikes. This is so good. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good.